Hello everyone! As confused as you might be, this version of Windows 11 is already out of support. We're talking about the original Windows 11 21H2, released way back in 2021. So, what happens when a Windows version is no longer supported? As you can see, Windows Update complains that the version has reached end of service. Yet, when I open the page in settings, I am greeted by this paradox, stating I am both up to date and missing important security updates at the same time. The update history is also kind of strange, as the last updates are supposed to be in 2023, yet there are two more in 2024. Actually, these updates were installed to ensure that my device, nearing end of service, will update. Which it can't though, because it doesn't meet the system requirements. Concerning the overall experience, there is nothing noticeably different. Opening Edge here, kudos to Microsoft for making the thing open instantly on 11-year-old hardware, which is, on top of all, screen recording at this moment. As you can see, Edge reports being up to date. We can also confirm this by doing a browser check in one of these websites, whatismybrowser.com for example. Anyway, if you are wondering why anyone would use such a system, well, I installed this four years ago on this test machine and it actually worked surprisingly well considering the hardware. This is an HP EliteBook laptop from 2014. It has an Intel Core i5-4300U that has a whopping 2.9 GHz turbo frequency and uses an eye-watering 15 watts as TDP. It has two cores, of course, and four threads. And the laptop has 8GB of DDR3 RAM. Now, the reason I don't reinstall with the next release every year is the SSD, which is very worn out at 91% capacity, and I'm using it to write my scripts for the YouTube videos and then upload them as subtitles. Now, about the interface, of course you won't be getting all the latest features in the start menu, the taskbar and the notification center. Though, there are old pages such as Programs and Features, and also the Installed Updates page and Control Panel is still there. I guess Devices and Printers exists as well. Still, most of these I barely notice when working with this machine. After all, it's set up and no need for me to mess with it. For that, I have other computers. Windows 11 21H2 also doesn't get File Explorer tabs, though I never use them to be honest, I do it the Windows 7 way with tiled windows to the left and right. Yes, some more things unique to this system are for example the overflow menu that is not with the characteristic rounded corners of the Mika design, also you get the old task manager only. But despite all of these little quirks of the first Windows 11 release, I have got to admit that I never really noticed the lack of support, other than the computer being snappier than ever because uh, it never has to update again. I mean, the, the updates used to noticeably slow it down before I upgraded the RAM. It's funny how my mini PCs, which are by the way ancient like this laptop, only ship with one RAM slot, yet this machine has two and obviously Obviously, when I upgraded one of them, the old 4GB stick comes here. And I've been mixing and matching RAM of different brands all the time with no problem, yet when I put these two sticks here that are both by Hynix, it didn't want to recognize one of them at first. Alright, thanks for watch, sub for more, comment for algorithm, share for me.